Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be sharing with us, you know, my experience transitioning from a band four to a band five in the NHS. It was a crazy shitty kind of experience and um it's something I always look um forward to like look back to rather and I'm grateful for the process because it taught me a lot and I'm sure you want to hear it. <laughs> I came into the UK and um you know like I was told I was going to be started on a band five a band four salary right I was going to be started as a band four you know doing my primary and doing my support worker roles as well at that point and then preparing for my OSCE preparing to sit for my OSCE exams so the first month first two months was it not me june july august so the first two three months i was preparing for my oski two to three months i was preparing for my oski i was working in the world as well as a band for support worker role like doing the rough support worker pre-registration midwife i was working as a pre-registration midwife so because i've not gotten my pin then i've not sat for my oski I was basically doing shadowing, shadowing the, you know, band five, band six nurses in the, band five, band six midwives in the world and, um, attending my OSCE trainings as well and preparing for it. Um, so, and also working as a band, as a support worker, like assisting with the support workers in the world, like I said. So when it came to the time I was supposed to sit for my OSCE exams, when it came to the time I was supposed to write my OSCE, I went to the center without my passport. <laughs> I went to the center without my passport and I was sent back. And like It's just like a child that goes to school without his or her school fees when the principal clearly stated the day before, come with your school fees. And you go there without your school fees. They will send you back. They sent me back home and I didn't know. I, I didn't receive things like, I didn't receive the email because at that point my email I lost access to my previous email address and that caused a lot of, you know, trouble. Like it was just, it was just a long story to be fair. And I didn't go there with anything. I only went there with my, I went there with my work ID card. <laughs> when they asked me for my password, I said, this is all I am. <laughs> Accept me. <laughs> I said to him, they said no, they can't accept work. I did really need my passport. And I offered to show them my PDF passport, like PDF from um, international passport. Now my phone, soft copy. They said no, that it has to be a hard copy. And sadly, I went back home on the three hours journey, three, it's not three hours. Yeah. From my city to Oxford, where I was supposed to write the exam, I went back home sad, distressed, downcast, and you know, I was thinking about the whole period I had prepared for OSCE, like you know, the whole period I had prepared and all the things I've been doing and everything I've been expecting. That I thought I was going to write the exam that day and I wasn't able to write it. It was really bad. It was, it was a sad experience for me. Um, but all. I had to go back to the world to start working properly as a support worker because I've already completed my OSCE trainings. I've taken my OSCE trainings. I've read, I've understood the things, the themes and all of that. So I couldn't continue studying or preparing for OSCE again. The, the, the trust couldn't continue training me again. So I just had to, I was now properly a band four band for pre-registration midwife working as a support worker in the world 70 and coffee dressing bed doing all those things that you know that support workers do and i was no longer shadowing i was no longer um doing supernumerary at this point i was no longer um i was no longer shadowing a uh, midwife i was no longer trying to understand the midwifery things like the midwifery aspect how they do things in the world and all of that I was just focused on being a support worker on doing my support worker role because i had to wait for another two months or so yeah two months or one one to two months before i was yeah two months it was exactly two months i had to wait for two months before i was able to sit for my oski again because they rebooked another date for me and that was the next date i was available so it was a really challenging period for me it was a really challenging period because it was like 
there was real confusion there was i was just sad to be fair i was sad generally and sad that i couldn't you know start up being a midwife the way i had planned to and that i had to get a longer period in the world as a support worker and you know it was really sad that i couldn't get my pain at the time i was supposed to get it get my husky seated for and all that what is going well i finally sat for the husky exams and i wrote it i passed and i had to get, go back to being the super memory again like shadowing midwives again like i they cut out the support worker part. I was not shadowing again and then get my competencies done, get my trainings done. And I am a midwife now. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. <laughs> so that was it. Um, the period really taught me a lot of lessons. Like it taught me so much about patience because uh, I had everything all planned out that, okay, I'll finish my OSCE August out finish my this one shadowing this month i'll start this one this month i'll finish my preceptorship bag it was it was all planned out right from the time i was coming from nigeria so it was really really um you know it really, really felt bad that all the plans had to scatter and everything just rigged my room <laughs> it was it was it was bad but all the same um i'm grateful for god to god because um it's all over now and i've i finally got to my dream actualized my dream of being a uk arrow and a midwife i'm working and i'm um, enjoying my job and you know i'm really enjoying the whole process of being a midwife here and it's really nice it's really amazing and i look back at the years at the period at that time and i'm grateful that it happened i'm grateful it happened because it's also a reason and i'm sure it's taught me one or two things and uh yep <laughs> that's it guys so that's my story i just wanted to share it out and take it out of my app take it out of my apps yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and um you know turn on the notification bell for more videos have a nice day bye bye